Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, here to talk a little fantasy football. Time to get you caught up on what you might have missed out on this weekend. So we go three up, three down. We start at the quarterback position, and congratulations for winning the game if you had Big Ben Roethlisberger on your team. Check out the numbers. They were ridiculous. 503 passing yards, three touchdowns without a single interception. Pretty much as good as it gets. Passing the ball around Hines Ward, Heath Miller, Mike Wallace, the rookie with a couple of huge plays, Antonio Holmes with over 70 receiving yards. Just a remarkable game by Big Ben Roethlisberger. He used to be the champion that put up decent numbers. Now he's a fantasy champion as well. As far as a quarterback who might have been a little disappointing this weekend, it has to be Matt Hasselback of the Seattle Seahawks. He's been a little uneven throughout the entire season, but when you play against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you're expected to put up some numbers, and simply put, he failed miserably this weekend. He did throw for 256 yards. He had a touchdown before interceptions. You're killing me, Mr. Hasselback. Very disappointing. Seahawks season is a wrap, and I'll tell you what, this is a team that's really got to look elsewhere for the future when it comes to the quarterback position. We move on now to the running backs, and the biggest surprise in fantasy football this year, we had no clue who was going to be the running back for the Browns. Was it going to be Jennings? Was it going to be Harrison? Was it going to be Joshua Cribbs, who's been getting a lot of opportunities in the backfield? As it turned out, it was Harrison in a big way. He ended up having 286 rushing yards in this game. Three touchdowns, 12 receiving yards, just a remarkable performance. The best performance of the year of any running back, perhaps of fan any fantasy player, either him or Big Ben, they're going at it. What a game from Harrison. It looks like he's going to get a chance to start for the remainder of the season. Of course, he's getting the opportunity because Jamal Lewis had to retire, er retire early because of injuries. As far as a running back that failed us, Arian Foster of the Houston Texans. We all talked about him last week because the Texans said that they're going to give the kid a shot. Well, he got his shot and he fumbled very early, so he ended up only having a couple of rushes the entire game. Good enough for just seven yards, 13 yards receiving on just one reception. I mentioned that fumble, so basically no fantasy output whatsoever from Mr. Foster. Next week, I'd say just avoid the situation. Ryan Motes ended up with the most rushing yards and most rushing opportunities of any of the Texans. But let's face it, this is a pass offense. Don't worry about the rush of the Texans. Next up, wide receiver. The big surprise of the week has to be the rookie in Pittsburgh, Mike Wallace. Yeah, we gave a lot of credit to Big Ben. But how about Wallace keeping his feet in bounds and that big touchdown at the end of the game? Remind a lot of people of what Holmes did last year in the Super Bowl. Well, this guy's been great all season long. He had another two touchdowns this week. He had seven. 79 receiving yards. He's a game winner, and I'll tell you, in fantasy land, he's worth a start at the number three position for wide receivers. And finally, the big disappointment. I know that he would say he was banged up. He might not even play, but once you take the field, Mr. Terrell Owens, we expect big numbers and two receptions for 20 yards just does not cut it. It's been an uneven season for him. I understand Ryan Fitzpatrick's his quarterback, so he's got some issues in Buffalo, but this is really disappointing. I'm not sure it might be his age catching up to him, so be wary of his fantasy value for next season. Well, my friends, that's all for now. See you right back here at OpenSports.com tomorrow.